I am a man of very high moral fiber. I have my morals and I have my scruples, and no one is going to compromise them in any way. I have a very specific belief system given unto man from the very lips of God Himself. And it's not good enough that I believe it. You have to believe it too. Do you understand me? You have to believe it too. If not by choice, then by force. Strong arming you is not an issue in the slightest bit. I would be completely justified. I stand on firm grounds. We are going to see to it that our morality makes it into legislature. And once it's legislated, you won't have any other choice. Or you will be arrested, convicted, and sent to prison. And you'll deserve it. You'll get a nice taste of hell on earth, which will prime you up for where you will eventually wind up in the bowels of Satan's anus, with your skin perpetually on fire. You will be stark raving mad, dying of thirst, screaming and gnashing your teeth in agony and no relief will be given. That's how much God loves you. And that's what happens when you disagree with my morality, a fate worse than death. And no, I'm not going to stay out of your business. Your personal consensual choices must hold up under my righteous scrutiny in order to meet my approval. So yes, I am going to have a say in your choices. You are going to receive my help in the ways in which to maintain and utilize your person and property. Oh, you'll thank me later. Believe me, when you are seated at the table with the Lord, with Jesus, with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and all the little baby lambs, you'll do more than thank me. You'll be worshiping my feet. You only see it as an invasive intrusion now because you are a creature a very low moral fiber. So until then, you better get it through your thick head. These are the things that you will not be doing. The following is a list of the things that you will not be doing. You will not practice homosexuality or lesbianism. This is the worst offense against God especially homosexuality. Lesbianism, eh, not so much. But homosexuality, this warrants murder. Because homosexuality is worse than murder. You will not have abortions, the second most worst offense against God. You better watch your back when you are in those clinics. You will not mix outside of your race. The third most worst offense against God. Stick to your own race. That's an order. You will not smoke marijuana or do any other drug unless it is sold legally over the counter or prescribed by a doctor, in which case it has God's blessing. You will not watch pornography. You will not masturbate. 
You will not expose your various genitalia, meaning penis, vagina, breast, or buttock, to the eyes of another under any circumstances. No nudity. You will not engage in any public displays of affection. You will not get tattoos, piercings, or brandings. You will not wear provocative clothing. You will be neat and presentable at all times. You will refrain from speech, actions, and writings that would be deemed offensive. You will not use vulgarity or curse words. You will not spit. You will be obedient to authority. You will obey the government. You will obey the parents, the teachers, the police, and the clergymen under any and all circumstances. If you are a man, you will not shave your head or grow your hair long. If you are a woman, you will not shave your head or cut your hair short. You will not have sex before you are married. And when you are married, you will only have clean sex, meaning missionary. No riding, soldiering, dogging, or any other Kama Sutra nastiness. And no dirty, unnatural sex which means no anal, oral, fingering, corn gobbling, felching, or dirty sanchezing. No bondage, domination, submission, humiliation, swinging, or role-playing. You will not consume media with any adult themes, meaning your TV, films, books, video games, radio, internet, and theater must all be sex and violence free. You will not listen to the devil's music. No rap, rock, metal, pop, disco, jazz, swing, or blues. You can listen to opera, or classical, or better yet, the choir. That's God's favorite. Can you see where all of this is going? You must remain clean in the eyes of myself and God. We are watching you. And if need be, we will forcibly clean you with a bar of soap and a steel Brillo pad. Don't make us do that. Take it from me. I have a God theory, and it works. And now I'm going to work it on you. Now I'm going to work it on you.